Hey everybody, it's Lou. Uh, in terms of getting your head around ICF, uh, you are gonna have to expand your head because we've got 21 new cities to think about and learn about. Um, there's the announcement, um, there's the uh, link in the list, but this is probably our most youthful and diverse group of cities. Um, I was really happy to see cities from the USA uh, in. We didn't get a lot on the last few years, including the state of Ohio, where uh, ICF's Institute and last year's summit, as you'll recall, out in Dublin, Ohio, were held. Um, I think they've been inspiring a lot of other cities. So we ended up seeing uh, Defiance and um, Hilliard make the list. In addition, Brazil has uh, been inspired by the appearance of Curitiba last year in the top seven. And you can see that they picked up the pace uh, of working toward intelligent communities. So big transformation in that part of the world as well. Um, the trend continues um, as counties, this is an observation, as counties organize themselves for a regional approach to economic growth. And we talked about that at the conference as well. Uh, development and connectivity is evidently on the list uh, of priorities for them. But again, you've got this collective, collective regional approach. So it appears that as we move into the post-COVID era, more places see that there's a pathway to creating a better place that they can call home. So we may have entered a new moment in the uh, smart city and intelligent community movement. So I encourage you to go there. Uh, we're promoting the Durham top seven announcement, which is going to be live up in Canada, June 20th. So uh, let us know what you think about the list and feel free to join us up in Canada. That's it. The list is out. Um, this is Lou reminding you that there's really no place like home or 21 new homes. Take care.